what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we're going to be showcasing yet another dope team that features g max lapras zekrom and celestia you guys are in no deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel get on top of that let's go people click that big red subscribe button and join the genius community it really does go a long way so i'll give a huge shout out to all my subscribers but let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in the top left corner we have the one and only incinor do i even have to say anything about this guy like i'm getting real sick and tired of talking about this he's so good he's on every single team but it's just like it's the same thing every time single time it's intimidate safety goggles and then normal moves that if you guys really want to see it it's right on the screen second pokemon on the squad is going to be g max lapras with the water absorb ability alongside with that light clay as item so it's g max resonance or it's aurora veil can last eight turns instead of is it eight turns yeah eight turns instead of five turns we got hydro pump we got freeze dry weather ball and helping hand for this thing's lovely move set Middle left is going to be Zekrom over here. And this Zekrom is built of not to be an attacker, but kind of to be an attacker. Let me explain. Let me explain. It's pretty much made to be like a defensive bulk with the leftovers, but it also has Dragon Dance. So if you can set up Dragon Dance, that can make up for its lack of stats in attack and speed, and then it can be bulky at the same time. So we're hoping we can set up this Pokemon and just run the battle from there. We got Bolt Strike, Dragon Call, Protect, and like I already mentioned, Dragon Dance as our four moves. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Groudon. I absolutely love Groudon in this series. It's not like overpowered like Kyogre. It's just like the perfect middle ground where it's a great restricted mod and solid in a bunch of different battles. We got Drought. We got Citrus Berry alongside Prince of Blades, Rock Slide, Protect, and Sword Stance to set up. Bottom left-hand corner is Celesteel, an Ultra Beast that I have not used in a while. It used to be super, super strong back in like Series 9, Series 10, around there before like the restricted mods really came out, but haven't seen it really since, so I'm actually glad we're going to be able to use this Pokemon. We got Beast Boost alongside with the Wakan Berry so we can soak up an Electric Shot. We got Flash Cannon, Air Slash, Protect, and Leech Seed to set up that HP recovery. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support Whimsicott. It's got Prankster, it's got Focus Ash, Moon Blast for Stab, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods. Then we got Tailwind for uh, Speed Control and Trick Room for even more Speed Control. There it is, guys. There's Team Preview. If you guys want to read this code for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this G-Max Lapras, Zekrom, and Celestial team. First battle coming at you guys, we are going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team. That also features Real Boom, Storm Drain Gastron, which is a little scary. I'm not going to lie, Storm Drain Gastron is kind of annoying because I want the G-Max Lapras here. And then he also has the Thunderous alongside with Incineroar. Okay, how am I going into this one? How should I play it? We could take easy speed control with Whimscott, but then we got to watch out for the fake outs and all that good stuff. So how should I actually roll into this battle? We go Incineroar turn one fake out and maybe go into a G-Max Resonance and kind of play it slower like that if we wanted to we want to that's not too bad but he has a lot of speed he has a lot of speed hmm could go whims or incident war and whims kind of set up their party shot out and then roll from there with zekrom maybe groudon zekrom and groudon is not too shabby here i do like both of these pokemon i really do is that what i want to roll into i'm kind of leaning towards it but it could go defiant thunders which i'm not about which i'm not about so that's that's a little scary so i think we're just gonna go maybe whims and zekrom that's a solid lead. Maybe try to get off a of Dragon Dance and then roll off from there. Yeah, Groudon and then either Celestial or Lapras in the back end. I'm leaning towards Celestial. I am. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, this battle is going to be tough, people. Hopefully, we can keep it close. We're going up against like a top tier team right here. Like any Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Zassian team is just super, super strong. Like they're like the, the three best Pokemon in this series is Kai Ogre, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Zassian. And there's no question about it. Like they are just insanely strong they're just insanely strong which is crazy on their own on their own so he does go into the defiant thunders good thing we did not lead that boy good thing we did not lead that boy so i could pop a tail one here i could go into a uh dragon dance would be nice i kind of want to go into a dragon dance i kind of do want to go into a dragon dance because this can guarantee us speed here or we can just dynamax we could just get straight after it let we do pop a tail one here I really want to go for his dragon dance I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day because I do not. I don't know why, but I don't see. Uh, I don't see Zassian going after my Zekrom. I see Zassian going after that one. See how he places one. He's gonna end up Dynamax in the Thunder. He's probably gonna uh, go for an Airstream, try to take some speed. I'm gonna Dragon Dance and uh, alongside with uh, this Tailwind. So I really do see like uh, Airstream coming after my uh, coming after my lovely what's it called my lovely Zekrom. Or it could be vice versa. We're just hoping that Zassian can, uh, you know, tackle into that one, Scott. 
That's really my 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 one thing that I want to see happen here. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna protect. That's a gorgeous turn. That's a gorgeous turn. That's a gorgeous turn. We'd love that turn. We'd love that turn. So we get off this Tailwind here, and we're gonna get off a Dragon Dance here as well, which is lovely. And we're hoping that this uh Thunderous is going after Whimscott, because I would love Thunderous to just kind of dump on Whimscott right here and just take him out. Like you know, it would be nice. It would be nice. But I forget the item that we're rocking on. Is it a Focus Ash? It's gotta be the Focus Ash. He airstreams. Go on the Whimscott, please. It does go on the Whimscott, and we are rocking the Focus Ash. I don't know why I forgot we were rocking, but that's totally fine. We get off another turn here. We could taunt if we want to. We kind of roll off from there. But I have a Dragon Dance set up on my boy. And we have complete speed control right here with the Tailwind. Now. I love it. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. So from here, we're going to go into a Moon Blast. I think we just double down into him, right? I could go into a, a Bolt Strike. Or I can... No, I do not want to... Uh... Hmm. You're going to swap into Gastron? That's my problem here. Him maybe potentially swapping into Gastron, right? It's a huge problem. Do we think he even brought it? He could, yo. Gastron's scaring me here. But, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna tackle down into this thing. I'm going to tackle down into this thing. Please do not swap into Gastron. That would be my only problem. Please, yo. Do not swap into Gastron. Do not swap into Gastron. Cool. He's not swapping. Beautiful. We get off the Dynamax. We're going to be able to drop a G-Max. Or not G-Max Lightning. Just a Max Lightning. Alongside with a Moomba. So, we're doubling down into this, uh... Into this what's called just in case. Into this Zassian. Just in case it doesn't die. But still, one thing I'm not hoping is that my Zekrom takes out the uh, Zacian. And then what's it called? And then we go into a Moonblast into the uh, the Thunderous and drop its special attack and then Defiant pops. But we're gonna pop this and we're gonna take out Zacian, no problem. So that's that's good. I do not mind the Moonblast going into this uh, Thunderous, but again, we do not need the stat drops. Cause if the stat drop here, they if he gets, if I get lucky and get a stat drop, that Defiant's popping. And then he's going plus two on attack and it's just a huge problem. So Moonblast flies, no stat drop. That's not what we need. Cool, beautiful. That's that's a lovely turn. That is a huge turn for us. He goes into a max knuckle. That's a little wimpy hit. That's fine. He was trying to boost his attack for his uh, Zassian. That's the dude. We are thriving. We're sitting in such a good position. Thank God he protected Zassian on that turn. That is that is that was just huge for us. Once he protected, I was like, yo, let's go. That's a money turn. But uh from here we can go into Slush Steel if we want. And just pop that with Combat. Or I can just go in the ground with the tailwind. I said we saved Slush Steel for the back end. Not dealing with it. Yeah, let's go ground on. Oh, yo, you know what I should have done? I should have went and slash steel and hard swapped in the ground. Should have did that all day. Should have did that all day. Let's see who he rolls out into. He's going to roll out in the roll, but mm, that's a little scary. That is just, just a tad bit scary. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Tad bit scary. Tad bit scary. Just a tad bit. Grassy Church poking here. Um, really want to go for the worm one. Oh, I can change up terrain. I'm going to change up terrain here. I'm going to protect and just change terrain. That's how I play all day. Protect here. Check my lovely Groudon, and we're just going to change terrain. Because, again, I do not want to pop that uh, Defiant. So, I'm not going to go for a Wormwind right here. I am not going for a Wormwind. So, we'll change terrain. Once you change terrain on Rillaboom, he's kind of literally like, not as good. <laughs> Which is super, super good. Because then we can take speed from him, and we'll be thriving. Because we should have one more turn left in Tailwind after that. Then we kind of just like drop Blades. We can drop Rocks. We can do a bunch of different things. We do a bunch of different things. Just gorgeous. But, yeah, that Tailwind and Dragon Dance turn one, phenomenal. And he hasn't even hit my Zekrom yet. Zekrom's pretty bulky on the defensive side. And he has leftovers. And he does have leftovers, so he's going to recover HP at the end of every single turn. Gorgeous. We love it. And then we have that bulky Celestial in the back just to set up Leech Seeds. Oh my god. Love me some Celestial in the back end. Always works wonders. We're going to protect our uh, Groudon. We're saying, hey, yo, you're not allowed to Grass Guide into me. Is he going for it? He goes for the Fake Out. Same thing. That's totally fine. We'll block that all day. We will block that all day, and we will change up terrain. Because we're not dealing with that Grass Terrain. We want Electric Terrain and Electric Terrain. And yo, Zekrom is dumping on Pokemon. Dragon Dance Zekrom is running through Pokemon. He does so much damage. Takes out Zacian in one shot. Pretty much takes out a full HP Thunderous in one shot. Well, a Dynamax Thunderous in one shot. And now we're just sitting in probably the best position ever. This game's over. This game is GG. We still have one more Dynamax turn. We can go into Worm Wind to drop Rollboom's physical stats. He cannot swap out Rollboom to get the train anymore. We're just sitting pretty. And he's going to go in the Shadow Rider Calyrex. We have Tailwind turns. This is lovely. This is just a gorgeous little turn. A gorgeous, lovely little turn here. A lovely little turn. Okay, so from here, we just go into Blades. I could drop Blades, or I could drop a Rock Slide, look for, for some flinches. I think Blades is just going to be a little bit better here. We're going to go Blades, and I'm just going to go Worm One right into you. I might protect, but we're fine. I think it cancels battle, right? Battle cancel. Cancel the battle. Get him out on out my face. And I think if we win this battle, I go into Master Tier for the new season. We're just... 
No, cancel the battle. You're not winning it. I have Zekrom one more turn. I still have the Celesteal in the back end. We have Tailwind out here. Oh, dude, you are in some deep trouble. He might double protect, but still. If he double protects, I still get off the Wormwind, chip up some damage on the Shadow Rider Calyrex, and the minus one onto the, uh, the real boom. But he doesn't protect. Wormwind comes out here. We're going to bring this thing all the way down to a Sash. Groudon might be able to outspeed with a Tailwind. There's a slight option for that. A slight chance. It should be gorgeous. But the attack drop goes out on the roll boom, which is huge. And can you go first Groudon? You do. Blade's going to pop out here. And who dodged it? Anybody but... but both of them dodged? What you mean? <laughs> both of them dodged. Get out of my face with that one. Get out of my face. He's going to grass guy. That's going to take me out. That's... No, that's whack. Oh, I should be soaked. That's... 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 That's super nice. That's super nice. That is super nice. Wow. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that we missed the blades. What you mean, dude? Both the blades. Both of them. Both of them. We're going to double down the Shadow Rider here. I play all day. What has better accuracy? This has 85 and we missed two? In my face. Got Bolt Strike if we want to go into it, but I'd rather go into a higher chance of accuracy move right here. And we are dragging it, so Zekrom still might be fast on the field, which would, that would just be lovely, right? That would be lovely. How do we miss both blades, dude? Missing both blades. Oh, uh, rip me. Rip me. Blah, 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 blah. Need to cool down. Hydration time, guys. Hydration time. All right, let's see what our opponent does. He still outspeeds me. Astrobarge is going to take out my uh my Groudon, but not my Zekrom. Like I said, Zekrom can bulk up some shots. And then we're going to be able to roll into a Dragon Call. We take that out, and we have Celestia in the back. Okay. And that thing is minus one. That real boom is minus one, which is huge. I can call Pokin. Yeah, I'll eat. And we're hoping we can actually eat up whatever he has to offer. A grassy glide, right? Or is he rocking high horsepower? Let's see, let's see what this dude's rocking. He's minus one. I'm pretty bulky on the defensive end. He's going to go into a glide here with no terrain. And my boy Zekrom sucks. Right, get this thing out of my face. That's GG's for sure. GG's for sure now. Every time I say, like, it's GG, something always, like, happens to kind of, like, alter my path and kind of think that we're going to lose this battle. Like, we missed that attack there. And now, now, now we're fine. Now we're fine. We have Air Slash. We have Celesteal out here. It's, it's over. Bro. It is over. Bro. Get him out of here. Yeah, dude, that Shadow Rider Calyx definitely scared me. But once I got rid of that, I was just like, yo, that's GG's. But we're going to Air Slash here. I am going to drop a nice little Dragon Claw. Pop it in there, and I think our opponent just cancels the battle, right? I think he just cancels the battle. He sees Celestial come out here. He's just like, ah, dude, this one's over with. I can't do anything up against this thing. Because we resist Grass, like, no tomorrow. And if he's rocking high horsepower, can't even hit us because we're flying type. Dragon Claw pokes through. He doesn't even run the battle. Like, it's got props. Dragon Claw comes through here, and then he's just going to go straight for a Hammer Arm, and we might be able to eat this up. We do. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So Zekrom survives this whole battle. Gotta love it. Like I said in the beginning, once we set this thing up with Dragon Dance, it is going to be able to thrive out and dominate. That's exactly what it just did in battle number one. There it is. Victory. Let's hop into our second battle. Hopping into our second battle. That first battle went perfect. Just the way we drew it up. We got that Zekrom out there, set up a Dragon Dance, and just ran the battle from there. But we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyx and Kyogre team that also features Weezing. Slow start, Regigigas, which is a scary combo, and then Whimsicott and Regilecki. Okay, how am I going into this one? How should I do it? I'm thinking he's going to lead either the, the slow start Regilecki combo or like the Whimsicott and something, or the Regilecki and the Kyogre. Like, he has a lot of options here, to be honest with you. A lot of different options, but I think our best bet could go into Lapras, but again, if he wants to go into Regilecki, that's just a huge problem, so I might just want to go into like Groudon as a lead alongside Whimsicott, which could be really solid for us. I'm digging that. Maybe just set up a Tailwind, kind of roll off from there. Yeah, 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 I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it. And then we'll bring Zekrom in the back, and then either Celesteal or Lapras. I'm leaning towards Lapras here. I really do like Lapras. We could set up the Roar Veil. We could do a lot of damage on a lot of different Pokemon, so I'm with it. And plus, we have Water Absorb. Work up against Kyogre's. Run it. Let's run it. Lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But uh, something I forgot to mention in the team preview and in battle number one, your boy made a Twitter. I mentioned it in a few videos previous of this, but I want to mention it again. If you guys have a Twitter, make sure you guys head down to the link in the description below. Go hit that follow button over there. Extra content, all that good stuff. It's going to be the best way to actually interact with me, message me, all that good stuff. Because, you know, it's Twitter. It's just quick messages, all that good stuff. So definitely go follow that Twitter. Get that page rolling. I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate you guys. But uh, let's see, let's see who our opponent leads. I would, I would like to grab ourselves a win here just so we can guarantee ourselves a winning record. You guys know I like to win the first two battles and just mess around in the third. It's always a fun time. It's always a fun time. But who are you leading? Weezing and Regigates. God dang it. This little combo over here. This little annoying combo he's going to lead. The Neutralizing Gas can come out here. We do not have our Prankster, which is kind of scary. But we can still set up an easy Tailwind. We can still set up an easy Tailwind. And we can just drop up Blades. Blades can do some big damage. 
Blades could do some big damage. So yeah, I'm just gonna drop a Blades here and uh, I could taunt. But I think we're just gonna Tailwind and get a little bit of speed control here. Get just a little bit of speed control. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. He's probably gonna Dynamax, yeah. And he might protect the Weezing here. He might protect that lovely little Weezing. So the thing is, Wimscott is does not have Prankster anymore. So it's Tailwind might not go first. I think it still might be fast on the field, but we'll see. We shall see. So Regigan gets obviously gets a Dynamax and Pokemon's very, very annoying and very powerful. We could have Dynamax our, our Groudon, but I didn't want to. Hopefully he's not protecting the Weezing. He's not. That's gorgeous. So uh, Weezing might go down here. Weezing might go down here. And if Weezing goes down here, slow starts going to trigger. This could be huge. Take it out. Take out Weezing, please. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Max Strike's going to fly through here. Go after Wimscott, please. He does go after Wimscott. That's huge. And hopefully he's not burning my uh my Groudon. Because, you know, these things just rock with us. But he max strikes us. We still have speed all day due to the tailwind. And we should be fine. As long as, as long as he's not burning my ground on. Like I said, we should be fine. Let's see what he goes into. There it is. There it is. There it is. Of course. We saw it from a mile away. So he's probably going to protect Weezing here. I'm just going to drop another Blades. And uh, I guess we'll Moonblast into that Regigigas. Right? I'm kind of fine with that. I'm kind of fine with this. Blades coming out here. And we'll pop a little Moonblast action. Little moon blast action. We still have speed all day, but yeah, Weezing has to protect here in order to uh, keep it slow start rolling. Right? He has to. It's an absolute must. That's an absolute must, right? He has to protect that Weezing. If not, Weezing, Weezing goes down here and he loses his uh, and slow starts gonna proc. Let's see what he does. Yeah, there's protect. So we saw that all day. We saw that all day. That's totally fine. He's probably gonna go after my Groudon, which I'm fine with. We still have speed all day, and we're gonna chip up some damage on this Regigigas. Cool, 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 cool. He's gonna go into Quake. Going after you. Groudon? Go after Whimsicott again. Okay. Go after Whimsicott. I'm with it. Keep my Groudon in the field. Keep my Groudon in the field like that. I know he's burned, but still, he poses that threat of just that double hit. And taking out the Weezing. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. Now I can roll into whatever Pokemon I want to Dynamax. I gotta be my Lapras. Drop a G-Max Resonance? I really like it. I really like it. Rolling the Lapras G-Max Resonance out? Set up that Aurora Veil? Be sitting nice. We could be sitting nice. Right, we got a Dynamax you. Yeah, all day. All day. All day we're Dynamax and Slappers. We have Water Absorb. He might have the, uh... He might have that, uh... What's called in the back end? He might have the Kyogre in the back end. And then if he has Shadow Rider Kylox, we're setting up an Aurora Veil to kind of soak up some shots for us. He tries to double protect and Weezing. That's totally fine. I did not Dynamax. Yo, I did not Dynamax? What? I could have sworn I Dynamax. Go after Groudon, please. I could have sworn I Dynamax. I could have sworn I Dynamax. I gotta watch that back. I gotta watch that back. What did I just do there? Precipice Blades come out here. Regigigas dodges it, but we take out the... We what just happened there? What just happened there? I gotta watch that back. I just, I just, I'm pretty sure I just lost that battle because of that. We could have been sitting nice. We could have been sitting nice, real nice. Real pretty. We would have had a roar veil up. We would have been able to soak up the, at that shot all day. Wow, that's whack. But looks like we're Dynamaxing Zekrom here. I wonder what I did. I wonder what I did. Because I remember hitting the Dynamax button. I guess I hit B to go back. And then just click Freeze Try. Ouch, dude. That one hurts. That one hurts, yo. <laughs> that one hurts. I'm not really worried about the uh, Regigigas anymore. Due to its Dynamax being gone, and he's slow starting right now. So I think I'm going to target down this uh, Calyrex. Wow, yo, that one hurts. That one hurts, yo. A Roar Veil should be set up. My Lapras should still be alive. Oh, that one's tough. That's real tough. But from here, uh, we're going to go into another Blades. Might as well send the Blades and go into a Dynamax. And then a Max Lightning? Or do we warm one? Hmm. I'm just going to send this. Send this Calyrex's way. Ouch, that one hurts. That one really hurts. Oh, that one stings, dude. What is this game? <laughs> I was sitting there and I was wondering. I was just like, Lapras, you freeze drive. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what just happened there? But we're looking, at, we're looking to dig ourselves out of this hole. We definitely still have a fighting chance here. We still have our Dynamax. We can still thrive out here. We have 400 HP on this lovely Zekron. And we'll just see how this one plays out here. And I think we have one more turn left in tail. Is he protecting? He's going to wide guard. Okay. Nice little wide guard comes out here from his Regigigas. He's gonna dodge blades, but still, Max Lightning's gonna fly through here, and we're gonna do some damage here. Hopefully, he's not Focus Ash, but he probably is, right? Uh, did, did, we didn't even trigger Focus Ash. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's alright. 
We have no we have no solo hitting moves on our uh on our what's called, so that's tough news. And Groudon goes down anyway. Wow, the crit on my Groudon. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face with that one. Get out of my face with that one. He gets a crit on my Groudon. That pretty much wraps up the battle, right? That wraps up the battle because Tailwind's gone now. And he's plus one. He should be able to take me out. That's whack, yo. Crit on my Groudon. Don't crit my Groudon like that. Don't do me dirty like that. Don't do me dirty. But from here, we got to go into a Wormwood here. And roll out. Last ditch effort. But, dude, that's rough. We're going to really lose this battle because of that. We had a fighting chance all day. But now, you know, Astro Rush comes in here and just cleans up everything. So we're sitting one on one. Let's hop into our third and look for a winning record for today's video. Let's grab ourselves a winning record in battle number three. We're going up against a Solgaleo and Palkia team that also features Suicune, who obviously learns Tailwind for speed control, and then he has the Incineroar Roll Boom combo. Really, really powerful. Really great two Pokemon. And then Sableye with Prankster, who can do a lot. He can fake out. He has Quash. He can do a decent amount. So he's a little scary little booger right there. All right, but how am I playing this one? Who do I think he's going to lead? I think uh, either Palkia or Solgaleo is going to lead, right? Solgaleo is a problem. He's a problem. 100% he's a problem. We don't like him. We don't like him one bit. Uh, Wimscott could come in here. We can taunt. We can pop a trick room. I do like that. I do like Whimsy here. So we're going to go Wimscott here. So we can taunt some Pokemon. And then we're going to roll out with... Uh, bump, 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 bump. Lapras ain't too shabby. I'm kind of digging Lapras for lead. Let's go Lapras. I like that a lot. We can set up a Roar Bell like we couldn't have done last battle. And then we're just going to go Zekrom and Groudon, right? Zekrom Groudon. Two great restricted mods. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. So we're rocking out with the same squad. We're just hoping we can click the Dynamax button correctly this time. Because last time, the battle would have definitely been a lot closer. It definitely would have been a lot closer. And we would have had a chance of winning that battle. We would have Dynamax there. We would have just got off that Aurora Bell. And like, like I said, Aurora Bell would have been great. It would have been beautiful for that Astro Barrage just coming in here. We would have soaked up a few more shots and we would have rolled out from there. But he's going to end up uh, leading these two here. And uh, from here, I'm just going to taunt that... Uh, I'm just going to taunt that Suicune turn one. I'm going to taunt that Suicune turn one, and I think I'm just going to... I could drop a Resonance. Ah, do I drop a Resonance? I definitely want to taunt you. I could go under Freeze Dry. I could go under Resonance. Hmm. What do I do here? Because he's, he's obviously Dynamax. I might just save my Dynamax for another Pokemon. I think I'm just going to save my Dynamax for another Pokemon here. Just going to freeze right into this thing. Taunt's going to come out here. We're rolling out. And I wonder what, uh, what's called is doing. I wonder, oh, that's what he's doing. We can just going to bulldoze here. So he bulldozes. And please do not go after my Wimscott here. Please do not go after my Wimscott. Leave my Wimscott alone. I want to be able to set up a Tailwind. I want to be able to set up a Tailwind. Wow, I really did think he was going to pop a Tailwind. But this thing learns bulldoze. Wow. That's scary. Sunseal Strike. Yeah, that's, uh... Bye bye, Boom Scott. That's a tough turn for us. It's a real tough turn for us. It's not looking good already. Right, is that again the Boom Scott? Yeah, yeah, bye bye, Boom Scott. <laughs> Boom Scott goes out here. He's gonna Dynamax to the next turn. And I do not like this one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Freeze Drive comes through here. How much damage are we doing to this thing? Not too much, maybe half. Yeah, no. Tough, tough news. Uh, we could roll into Zekrom here, but I'm kind of leaning towards you. I'm kind of leaning towards Groudon. And I think we're going to have to Dynamax Groudon here. This policy's already procced. We got to get after this thing. We got to get after this thing. We got to start dropping Max Quakes. We got to start thriving from there. This Soul Gale just poses such a big threat. I do not want to deal with it. Do not want to deal with this Pokemon. So we're going to Dynamax here. We're going to drop a Quake here. And we're going to get rolling. So we're going to go there. And I could double down into him. Which I'm going to do. Which I'm going to do. I'm double down straight in this Pokemon. He might swap the Suicune. Suicune has to attack here. So we'll see. He actually might go into another Boulder. Just to slow down everybody. Except for his Solgaleo, due to his, uh, what is it, full metal body ability? But yeah, what a tough turn for us. What a tough turn for us. What a tough turn, dude. First battle went perfectly. Second battle was a big mistake by us. And third battle, oh, this one's looking tough. This one's looking tough. But hey, you guys know the first three battles I record are always the first three battles I upload. Always, guys. Always. Always, always, always. So let's see. He's Dynamaxes, obviously. That was a great, great turn by him. He actually did not waste a uh, first turn Dynamax, which is a little weird. Usually, like, when I use Solgaleo, I like to just Dynamax it off the rip and go from there. But that was actually really smart for him to do that. Actually, really smart. But I I, I see another boulders coming in here, right? No, he does not. Just straight up outspeed. Or maybe we just outspeed him. So we go into a straight up quake. We get a special defense boost. And we get off some big damage on the Solgaleo. So if he does not go into a boulders this turn, that could be really good for us. That could be really, really good for us. Because then we can outspeed next turn. Just kind of dump on that. Let's see what he goes into. Steel Spike coming in hot. Going into two. Going into Lapras. Can you soak that up? Probably not, right? Yeah, no shot. 
So he gets that defense boost. And let's see what he does here. And he gets a crit, dude. Come on. Like, you do you need a crit? You are plus two. You are plus two. This thing's stats is ridiculous right now. Again, we're hoping he doesn't go for a bulldoze because that could be huge for us. No bulldoze? Skull. All right, that's fine. Do not burn me. I swear. I swear. Thank you. Cool. Zekrom's going to be able to poke out here. We have speed all day. I can go into a bolt strike. I kind of want to double down into this, uh... It is so Galio, but I feel like... I feel like that this, uh... This quick should be able to KO him, right? Yeah, I think it should. I think it should. We're going to go here and here. I think it should. We're going to go into bolt strike here. Bolt strike. Try to get rid of this thing. He withdraws the sweep unit. What's he going to go into here? He going into instant order. That's... Ah, that's, oh, dude. That's rough. That's honestly rough because now I don't think we take out that uh, Solgaleo. Wow, what a swap by him. What a swap. Come on, Groudon. Get a crit. Do something dirty. He, he gets a crit. You got to get a crit. Bolt Strike coming in hot. Both of my Pokemon are physical attacking, so that's a little rough for me. And we're going to chip up some damage. Give me Para, though. This thing does have a high chance of paralyzing. It does. So we get the Para. That's cool. And Groudon's going to go next. And come on, yo. Groudon. Give me something to work with here. Give me something to work with. I don't think he's going to take him out, but still. So tough. So tough. That minus one just did us dirty there. Did us real dirty there. We got that special defense boost. Who's he going after? Go after my Groudon, please. Go after my Groudon. Let's see if he goes after Quake. No, he's taking out my... God dang it, Zekrom. What a play by him. What a play by him. We can't get swept, though. We cannot get swept. We cannot get swept. You know the deal with that. We cannot get swept. I'm just going to go after Soul Gale. I'm not dealing with it. We're not getting swept. We're not getting swept. I have two rules. We don't go 0 and 3 in videos, and we do not get swept. Wow, yo, this Soul Gale is just running me, man. He's made a smart play right off the rip. We're just going to drop another Quake. I'm not getting swept. Not, not allowing it. Not allowing it. And we still... Uh, do we have a fighting chance? Probably not. He's just going to swap it Cinnamon, right? He's going to swap it Cinnamon just to secure his victory. Yeah. There's a swap of the Cinnamon. He's going to go back into probably Suicune. Yep. And uh, roll off of that. Nice little play by him. We do get rid of this uh, Solgaleo, so we don't get swept. That's a, it's a that's huge plus on our end. It's a huge plus on our end. We love that. We love that. But, yo. Our opponent outplayed us here in the third and final battle. That's tough. That is tough. It's a smart first turn play with the Bulldoze. Staying without Dynamax, but... The incident were really coming in there really screwed us over because we did have a fighting chance if that incident were did not come in there. We really did. We had a nice little fighting chance if incident were didn't come in there because Solgaleo would have went down. We would have still had our Zekrom. Zekrom would have taken out Suicune. And then we would have been sitting here, which Intimidate would have came out here. And then I could have just max quick it and take it out. So we we could have been sitting good. We could have been sitting good. But uh let's see if we can actually still win this battle. Never mind too. We're gonna have to bank on some crits, you know. Crits are gonna have to be our friend here. Critical hits are going to have to be our friend all day. Let's see what he does here. Fake out. Oh, dude. Fake out. Oh, of course. He fakes me out. Fake out and this thing's going to scald and watch. He's going to get the burn. Oh, he sets up a tailwind. How dare you? How dare you set up a tailwind? How dare you set up a tailwind? We're staying in here. We're going for a nice little precipice place. I actually should go for a sword dance. Probably should have went for a sword dance. Up against these Pokemon? He's probably just going to swap again. This little biscuit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he'll be paralyzed this turn. If he is paralyzed this turn, I, I, I should set up a sword stance. Try to give myself a chance here. Any withdrawals, of course. That's why wouldn't he? And Palkis, oh, Pal, Palkis is final line. It's over. We have, we have no shot at taking this thing out. Unless we get a mega massive crit, which is a new critical hit, which just takes out one shot. Speaking's going to scald and watch. She's going to get lucky and get the burn, right? Watch how ugly this is. Cool. No burn. Awesome. Blades come out here. This is going to do no damage whatsoever. She did a lot more than I thought. Did I get crit on any of them? Sunlight fades and... <sighs> no bueno. Only way we win this is if uh, we set up a sword stance here. And he does not KO us. And we get off a big old bleed to get some crits. He withdraws. So he's ready for the fake outs. He's ready for the fake outs. He's ready for the fake outs. What's that? What are we? Minus three now? What the heck is this game? They keep swapping skulls and guns here. This guy's really playing like this. Come on, yo. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. Let me stay in here. There, there it is. There, there it is. There it is, dude. Come on, yo. I went in a fighting chance here. Because my last hope was the sword stance here. No burn. Have that thing be paralyzed. Drop a blades. Take him out. Maybe take out the Suicune. And then roll from there. But nah, nah. He's got to get the burn. He's got to get the RNG. Get out my face. I'm sick of this game. I'm running it. We go one and two for today's video.
Not too bad for today's video, went 1-2 and, and ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record. The first battle showcased his team to its fullest potential. We got that Zekrom out there, dropped the Dragon Ants, Dynamax and roll from there. That second battle was definitely winnable. It's on my end because, you know, we did not Dynamax that Lapras on accident and we ended up losing the battle from there. But then that third and final battle, our opponent just played outplayed us with the Suicune and the Solgaleo. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.